This is the story of how I got rejected from Google as well as my interview experience applying for one of their early career cybersecurity analyst roles. I, just to give you some background on my experience level, my education level, as I was applying for this role. At the time, I had about three years of experience working in cybersecurity out of college, and I believe the role that I was applying for was asking for about one to two years of relevant experience in cybersecurity. Unfortunately, they no longer have that job posting up since this was a little while ago, but this was my first time interviewing with Google for a cybersecurity position. And if you guys didn't already know, Google was kind of like my dream company at the time to work for, but that was also earlier in my career where I didn't have as much interview prep experience. So I also think that was one of the key factors of my experience going through that interview. I applied for the job directly on Google's job portal. And a few weeks later, yeah, I got mail. an email from one of their recruiters. And it was basically an email asking me about my technical aptitude in certain areas of cybersecurity. I have no idea how Google currently vets its candidates or its job applicants, but I found this email very interesting because they basically asked me to rate my experience in certain areas of cybersecurity based on a scale that they provided, basically rating my skills from a zero to a five, where zero was no experience in the skill. And then a five was I am a subject matter expert and, and quote unquote written or published papers and books on this topic. So, so five is a pretty high number and I'm assuming it's for PhDs. This email basically was the emailed version of a HR phone screening where HR or a recruiter calls you and they basically ask you about your technical experience, your background, confirm your education, confirm your visa status, employment status, what you're looking for in a role. And most of the security topics they asked if I had experience in were pretty common, like web security, network protocols, hardware, operating systems, cryptography, compliance, etc. So I would say pretty common areas in cybersecurity for an entry level or early career role. The only one I thought that was a little bit more advanced was exploit development, which is which I did think would probably be more for the academic side or someone who's very involved in ethical hacking or CTFs. They also again asked me through email a bunch of questions about what percentage of the day I spend coding, even though again, this was for a cybersecurity role. I believe it was closer to a cybersecurity engineering role and that was why they expected you or would have preferred a candidate who knew how to code. And then of course, other HR questions. I mean, obviously looking back now, it is really helpful to kind of see the types of questions that a recruiter may want to ask me. And I guess overall, it did end up saving us both time at the end of the day rather than schedule scheduling some time for a quick 15 minute call, which, which typically is what this would have been. By the way, I recently launched my cybersecurity interview prep mastery course, where I'll walk you through how to prepare and ace your cybersecurity technical security design and behavioral cybersecurity interview questions. And I know ironically, I'm sharing this with you in a video where I'm talking about failing an interview, but I really do think that you always start somewhere and failing is the best way to learn. And honestly, I've learned more from the interviews that I failed and flunked than the interviews I've done really well in. Because when you do well in an interview, there's typically going to be more blind spots into what areas that you can improve. I've created this interview prep mastery course with my five to six years of interviewing for cybersecurity analysts, entry level, early career, and internship roles. So I guarantee it'll be really helpful for anyone who is, who is currently in their early career and just starting to apply for cybersecurity jobs and may not know where to start for how to prepare for your interviews, specifically your technical and your security design interviews. There's also a sample mock interview with myself, as well as your own technical mock interview that you'll have to complete as part of the course. This along with all of my other career guides, my interview prep guide, my cybersecurity career roadmap, 100 plus sample interview questions, and many, many other resources. And right now you can get 50% off of the course as part of the course launch. And I'm really excited to get this to you guys and I can't wait to hear your feedback as you start implementing these resources and interviewing secrets in your next cybersecurity interview. And of course you can find everything in the link in my description. So after I pass my information along, which I'll be completely transparent with you guys, most of the answers, I would say the average that I gave for the rating of my skill set was around a two out of five, which was mostly a beginner rating. And I really was trying to be as realistic as possible. And again, I wasn't even sure if the interviewer would get back to me if I didn't say I was a four out of five out of most of the answers. But surprisingly, I guess in a good way, the recruiter was still interested in moving me forward to the next interview, even though I rated most of my skills in those areas as a two out of five, which I realized I didn't give the official rating definition, which in their term, a two out of five is having 
hands-on practical experience on a few work-related projects using those skills or tools. And so after that, my recruiter got back to me and basically said that they were interested in moving forward with an interview. And they asked me for some timeframes that would work for an interview, as well as some time zones that their interviewers were in. Personally, what I really love about Google recruiters or at least technical recruiters is the fact that they really try to prepare the candidates for an interview. And obviously it takes a lot of times to find candidates that match a job description or someone that the hiring manager wants to talk to. So it's basically a win-win if the recruiter helps you prepare for the interview as well as you obviously performing well during the interviews. My previous interview experiences with Google were primarily for software engineering roles. Since if you guys didn't know, I before I got into cybersecurity, I was originally in the software engineering space. So most of my experience with interviewing at this company were primarily coding interviews. As part of the preparation email that he provided me, he basically gave me a breakdown of what the interview is going to look like, how long it would last, some general questions to expect, but a lot of this was described in the first email where I kind of gave my rating for these different areas. He even gave me a list of potential topics to be covered during the interview, as well as who I would be interviewing with, in which in my case, it would have been specifically someone I would have been working with on that team. He even included what kinds of things I should ask to my interviewer during the interview, as well as some things to remember, like thinking out loud, ask clarifying questions, as well as next steps for after the interview. Essentially, after my interview would be completed, the hiring committee would gather and review my resume as well as my interview feedback and then make a decision from there. All right, so about a week later, I have my interview scheduled and they provide me links to different interviewing docs, but these specific questions of my interview are confidential, but I'm going to be sharing comparable cybersecurity interview questions so that you can still get an idea of the types of questions that you may expect. So firstly, let's talk about the security design interview. This is something that I cover extensively in my cybersecurity interview prep mastery course, but this was kind of the focus of my interview. And this interview was actually one of my first times ever really going through a cybersecurity interview like this. And having this interview experience also in turn helped me pass my interview for my actual job that I ended up getting in a cybersecurity analyst role after I left my cybersecurity rotation program in my first job. But essentially a security design question is a cybersecurity question that is very broad and you can basically answer it in very different ways. And is meant to really focus on your creativity, your problem solving skills, your communication skills, your ability to work on a team with another peer and it's basically tackling a problem together with your interviewer. An example of this would be how to secure a web application or how would you handle a security incident or what are the steps you should take if malware is found on an endpoint device. Essentially, there are very broad questions that you won't be able to answer in one or two sentences or two to three sentences compared to cybersecurity technical interviews, which in these cases, it's kind of just like, what is XYZ? Can you explain what is encryption? Can you explain a phishing attack? These questions are relatively short to the point. There's typically going to be one right answer and you're not gonna be going as in depth. And there also isn't going to be as much follow-up from your interviewer on those kinds of questions. But for questions like how to secure a website, these are going to be a little bit broader. And there's also a lot more things you can consider like network security or firewalls or security awareness training or SIMs, logging and monitoring. So you kind of get the idea. There's going to be a lot of different things that you can bring up in that question. And you basically are treating it as if you're speaking to the interviewer as if they were your peer or a coworker, and you're talking through a problem. You're giving your thoughts, your opinions, your suggestions, and you're also listening to some of theirs, or maybe they're trying to guide you in a certain direction or have you answer a certain question a certain way or bring up a certain topic and just trying to gauge slash test the waters in how technical your aptitude is. And that is essentially the overall concept of a security design question. This, I think personally, is one of the funnest types of interview questions to prepare for because you kind of get to go in many different directions, but also show not only your breadth of knowledge in multiple different areas, since when you're just starting out in cybersecurity, you likely have a breadth of knowledge in many different domains, whether it's network security or cryptography or identity and access management or, or vulnerability management, but there may be two to three areas in cybersecurity that you may also have a depth of knowledge where you can go a little 
little bit deeper in those topics, talk a little bit more about certain things, give stronger opinions, be able to provide suggestions for, hey, you should do this instead of this because X, Y, Z. So this is basically what the interviewer is trying to gauge. And I really do think it was a fun interview. Even though I still ended up getting rejected from this job listing, I do think that it was a really great learning experience and I came out better at the end of it. And it also ended up preparing me for my technical and security design interviews with my second employer where I was working as a cybersecurity analyst. And I went into those interviews feeling much, much more prepared because of my experience interviewing with Google for one of their cybersecurity positions. Plus not to mention my interviewer was also very senior, very good at her job and, and has multiple different accolades in that specific niche in cybersecurity. So personally, I was very honored to be able to interview with someone so senior, especially just me who was nearing three years of experience in cybersecurity with no previous background before I graduated college. So overall, it was still a really positive experience experience. I do hope in the future I'll have another chance to interview and this time I'll be hopefully much more prepared for those cybersecurity interviews as well as the structure of the interviews where it's not only important to know the technical concepts but it's also important to know how to answer the types of interviews that that they'll be asking specifically the structure of the interviews and how it really feels more like a conversation than kind of grilling you or quizzing you on random security topics like trivia, like cybersecurity trivia. I'm honestly really glad the questions weren't just asking me things like, what is the port number for HTTPS? Personally, I think those types of interviews are probably the least sufficient in terms of gathering, in terms of gauging someone's technical ability and technical aptitude to be able to do a job. But again, technical interviews in cybersecurity are still, are still very common, so you still have to prepare for them just as much as a security design interview or a behavioral interview. All right, so hopefully this gave you some insights on what my interview experience looked like, also gave you some insights on how to prepare, the types of questions to focus on, and I hope this also changed your perspective on how to study for cybersecurity interviews because because it's not as important to just memorize vocab words than it is to understand concepts and actually get hands-on experience using them whether it be through your technical projects your past experiences volunteer work doing hackathons or working on open source etc if you're currently interviewing for a cybersecurity job don't forget to check out my cybersecurity interview prep mastery course which is linked in my description and you can get 50 percent off using code launch 50. thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below i try to share as much as I can without sharing anything confidential. So I really hope this was still able to help you out. And by the way, if you're currently looking for a cybersecurity bootcamp, the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp is the one that I recommend, which has a get a job or get your money back guarantee if you qualify. It has a well-rounded technical cybersecurity curriculum, career support, as well as hands-on technical experience, and you can study and pass your CompTIA Security Plus certification as part of the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp. You can also get $1,000 off using my code with Sandra using the link in my description below. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!